Those of you who used suckless.org's DWM are probably familiar with the idea of configuring it through its main configuration header file, config.h. On Gen2, this is done a bit differently. We still make all the modifications to a config.h file, but because Portage, the Gen2 package manager, configures and compiles DWM from source itself, the actual mechanics of customization are a little bit different. Um, and that's what we're going to discuss here today in this video on installing DWM the Gen2 way. Here I have a default install of DWM 6.1 taken from Gen 2's repositories. Um, I've not configured it or modified it at all. And I'm going to show you how to do that today, how to get Gen2 and Portage to take your configurations. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to navigate to the Etsy Portage directory. This, let me put an ls on it, this directory contains all of the configuration files that Portage uses when it downloads and installs programs from Gentoo's repository. And in here we can make the modifications that we need in order to get Portage to accept changes that we make to DWM. The first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enable the saved config use flag uh, for, D for the DWM package itself. Um, if you don't have save config enabled as a global use flag, the way to go about enabling it for DWM is through the Etsy portage package.use directory here. I'm going to ls this directory. As you can see here, this directory, let's, let's get a little bit more space here. <clears throat> this directory contains a list of files that are mapped to packages that, that uh, portage will install. And we can put a file in here that will enable us to define special use flags for just DWM as a package. What that means is that when Portage goes and downloads DWM and compiles it, instead of using just the global use flags that we define in like make config, it will also use these flags that we put in this file here. Now what we want to do is we want to create a file called DWM. That's the name of the DWM package, as Gentoo understands it. And what we need to do here is, we, is we're is we going to have to have two entries. The first entry is going to be the category and package name, and then there's going to be a space, and then there's going to be the use flags that we want to enable, or disable. You can disable them in these files too, but we only want to enable one right now. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to say x 11 wm that's x11 window managers which is the the package uh category that dwm is part of in gen2 then a forward slash dwm now this is going to make it so that whenever whenever portage goes out and downloads and tries to configure dwm for compilation it's going to see this file here it's going to see that it's saying do this for all dwm packages and then we do a space and the flag that we want to use, which is saved config. <clears throat> now, now that we've done that, we can just write changes, get out of the file. And the next time we emerge DWM, it will use those changes. In fact, let's go ahead and do it right now. Oh, I want to do a sudo, sorry. sudo emerge DWM. Calculate some dependencies. All right. Now, what eBuild is saying right here, is that we're going to reinstall the package, that's what this R means, x11 dwm, that's our package that we're reinstalling, and here you can see that saved config is green and has a asterisk beside it. That's because this flag has been enabled since the last install. When dwm is installed by default, it's not going to have saved config enabled, and so this, this is telling us that saved config has been enabled. And so we want to emerge to merge these packages, it's going to run through, and it is compiled. So now we have the save config use flag enabled. So what that means is that now DWM, when it's compiled the next time, will use our configuration header that we have defined ourselves. And that configuration header is defined in a file, let me, let me get some space here, is defined in 
the file save config under the category X11 window managers, WM for window managers. It's in this directory right here. And we have this file here, DWM 6.1-R1. So we can open that. DWM 6.1-R1. So let's uh let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm trying to remember what it is on the default. Okay, it's, it's like this, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let me move this a little here. I usually change those commands, so I had to remember how they how they were done. Alright, <clears throat> now this file here is exactly the same as uh, config.h in a regular source code install of DWM that you would do yourself. So you can make all the same changes to it that you want to. Um, it it's not it's not got syntax highlighting by default because it's it doesn't end in a .h extension. So Vim didn't recognize it, but we can actually fix that. We can say set ft equals c and get syntax highlighting enabled. But yeah, you can see here that this has all the settings that's in regular DWM. Now uh, let's make an obvious change to it and recompile so that we can see how that works. Uh, let's do let's do top bar here. Um, let's let's change top bar from one, which means the, the the bar is going to be up here at the top. We'll change that to zero, so the bar should be at the bottom now. All right, and then once we're done with that, we can write the changes. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to emerge DWM again. So we want to let Portage reconfigure and then recompile DWM. It's going to calculate the dependencies. All right, and then we want to say yes again. Okay, and now it has been recompiled and reconfigured. The changes haven't taken effect because we're going to have to stop this running instance of DWM and start a new instance so that we can see the changes take effect. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, and there you go. I have stopped and restarted DWM. And as you can see, the bar is now on the bottom of the screen rather than the top. So our changes have taken effect. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, you make any changes that you want to make to DWM through the save config file. And it's just exactly like changing config.h on a regular, like manually compiled version of DWM except better because it's the Gen 2 way. But yeah, that's the main way that you're going to configure and modify DWM. The other way that you might go about doing it will be to add patches, such as from suckless.org, which can be a little bit different than normal on Gen 2. Sometimes it can be a bit of a headache at first. Um, I'll probably make another video on how to patch DWM pretty soon. But uh, yeah, that's about it for configuring DWM on Gen 2. Thank you for watching.